Welcome back. Our next guest says our bodies regenerate 70 billion cells every single day. Wow. That's incredible. That means what we eat can almost instantly affect how we look, importantly, and how we feel. Okay, so if you want to look and feel super good, you're going to need some super foods to do so. So here with the recipes that will trim our waistlines and boost our energy is the author of Slimming Meals That Heal, Julie Daniluk joins us. Hi, Julie. We hear this word thrown around a lot. What exactly is a superfood? A superfood is a food with extraordinary nutritional value giving you health benefits. Okay, so every single food here has scientific proof that it will really help you. Does it turn you into a superhero? It does. Okay, it gives good. you that <laughs> amazing energy. Okay, so we don't have time to go through all 25 of the superfoods mm. that you listed, but you have picked some of our favorites. Yes. I'm going to start with avocado because I'm just addicted to anything with avocado in it. Why is it such a superfood? Because it's one of the most nutrient-dense foods. I would put it in the top five of my superfoods in the yes. whole world. It has so much good fat and amazing nutrition. One of the big ingredients that shine is vitamin B6 because vitamin B6 helps you metabolize estrogen. And if we can do that, we can slim down without having to restrict calories, which is why <laughs> Slimming Meals That Heal is so important. So definitely enjoy your avocados because they're truly going to help you balance. My book actually focuses on the three key reasons. It's a great summer read mm. because it helps to balance your hormones. It helps to reduce inflammation. It also helps you address your actual personal allergy foods that cause weight gain. Okay, so I yeah. see a beautiful shake here. I'm guessing made with the avocado. So tell yes. us what's in it besides that superfood. Well, it's called the key lime shake because the lime and the coconut taste so Ooh. good. It's amazing. <laughs> So try that on. It tastes so delicious, like a pie in a glass. How is it? What's the consistency? Mm. It's really thick. Yeah. It's like a, it's it's like a milk shake. And How shake? many avocados That's are amazing. in that shake? Just a half an avocado. Okay. Really? But it's truly satiating. Yeah. I just love it. And lots of coconut. Well, the coconut helps us burn more fat per hour, so we're truly satiated and more energy in coconut. I find with the morning smoothie, even if you put like a quarter of an avocado in it, it gives mm. a good little milkshake thickness yes. to And it's so good smoothie. instead of banana, which is very high in sugar, this yeah. is more balancing. Really it's great. Good. And slimming, good right? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Slimming. Slimming. yeah okay. it's Can great. you overdose on avocado? because I'm about to like have Oh, well, I think, I think one at least every up meal. to one a day would be okay. just fine. Lovely. For me, I really <laughs> like foods that are garlicky and you say garlic is a key player in healing inflammation. Absolutely. So what? So it helps with things like muscle soreness and stress tension or? Well, know that it really does help you reduce your inflammation. And a key new fact is studies are, are just starting to discover it can actually reduce the amount of fat cells you have on your body, which is totally trippy, but it also helps to reduce candida. Oh yeast and that's what causes the bloating that's what causes us to have carb cravings that are ferocious so you want to reach for more garlic to kill off the yeast in our body so that we really tamper down those carb cravings that are getting us down good stuff yeah you can really say good. i stink but at least i'm not bloated you got it you got it <laughs> so what did you what did you make using garlic I love pairing it with bison because bison has one third less fat than typical beef. And of course, it's, it's raised on the open range, so it's extremely <laughs> healthy and happy for sure, right? I like your bison it. voice. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I had bison heart a little while ago, and I said, if there's bison heart on the menu, I will never order steak again. That's incredible. Really? Wow. You're so adventurous. Mm. I love it. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm very oh, veggie. Do you guys want to try? I'll try peas, but not a big piece like that. I think I'll let you try. You want to try it? Because I want to I talk yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, here I'll we go. I'll try a little okay. piece. And there's mm. garlic infused in that. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. taste it. And we've it got our... In our in there you go. Delicious. Another thing in there, of course, is the iron. One third of women are actually iron deficient. I'm anemic. You got it. Mm -hmm. So you got to really boost that iron so you have the energy to face your day. Mm. It's so important. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to really taste this with avocado. There now. you go. It's such a nice combo. Excellent. Okay, so, uh, so Joel, we, I like to eat a lot of fish. We eat yeah. a lot of fish in my house. Like, this could be dinner for me. I will eat sardines straight out of the can. can. Really? Straight out of the can, open a can of sardines, and I'll just go like this. Amazing. That wow. is incredible. So good. Wow. That's so good. Wow. And, and the, the calcium, the bones. Yeah. Oh, it must be so part good. Portuguese because mm -hmm. we love our sardines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. All so of good. the small fish, so sardines, anchovies, herring, mackerel, are all incredibly high in omega-3 and low in toxins. That's why I see it as a true superfood. So all fish isn't created equal. Exactly. You want to go for the little fish, very high in omega-3. That helps you burn more fat. It helps you prevent fat storage. It helps to reduce inflammation, causing the muscle pain from working out. It also helps to increase your insulin sensitivity so you can shuttle that fuel.
fuel into burning mode. So it's truly one of the greatest things for losing weight. And it's then you amazing. have packed in a little olive oil too, which yeah, is good. Yeah, it's nice. Now, I see that you've made a little a spring roll yes. with my sar with sardines, or mm. our sardines. Mm. Um, are, is it difficult to make? No, it's so easy. You just take a rice paper and dip it in warm water, put all your nice ingredients on there, and it's so light and delicious. It's mm. faster than making a sandwich. It is truly the way to eat it. Looks so Everyone yeah. Try? Yeah. I'm okay, try mine after, yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks totally intriguing. I'm a little <laughs> alarmed by that, but I, I'm going to try it after. Um, I, I want to talk about a food that I hear a lot about, but I've never actually tried, which is sure. spirulina. Yes. So you, this is this is it in its powdered form? You correct? got it. Okay. So spirulina is a blue-green algae, and I know that sounds scary, but not to worry. It's actually one of the most nutritious foods in the entire universe, so much so that they're sending it to outer space. They're, it's actually food for astronauts because it contains so many nutrients packed into a tiny little packet. So if you put that much nutrition on top of a fruit salad, know that it kills your appetite dead. So that's why I love people having this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's like it's Okay, yeah. what have you done? It looks like, it looks a bit gross. You have to kind of like close your eyes while you eat it. But. Well, it's called painted fruit because I'm using almond butter with the spirulina and a touch of raw honey to actually make it a beautiful fruit salad. Consider it like an emerald green bath of the fruit salad. And it's a great, nice new yeah. way to have it. Instead Lovely. of just always sticking it in your shake. It's okay. nice to have that. And it's so rich and delicious. Mm. Do you like? Mm, yeah, it's great. Nice. Amazing. I, it's one of my faves. One thing I want to let you know is that you actually get a free 27-page ebook on my website, juliedanlock.com, that has piles of spirulina recipes okay. in it. Good. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and finally, I think every woman uh, wants to find a remedy for the symptoms of PMS. And yes. you say hemp hearts? Yes. Hemp hearts can help with that? Yes, hemp hearts are one of the best, best things for PMS because it's high in magnesium, which helps to reduce muscle cramping. It's really high in zinc that helps you be less hangry at your husband around PMS time, <laughs> which is very important. And it's also wonderful in the B6 again. So this is so good. GLA, the good fat for hormonal balance. So definitely try to stick this in salad salads and smoothies, anywhere you can find that you could use a little sprinkle of hemp hearts, you're going to balance your hormones. And this also has maca, and maca is extraordinary oh, for good. your mojo. Maca makes yeah. you a little bit horny. Yeah. <laughs> it really does. in sexless marriages, the answer is Maca. All right, right. There cheers you go. to Maca. And uh, there it is. Yay. Cheers. Yay. Thank you. Cheers, Julie. Thank That's you awesome. very, very much. Now, these recipes, in case you're wondering, they're all going to be up on our website after the show, so make sure you check it out. And also, everyone in our studio audience, guess what? You're going home with your very own copy of Slimming Meals That Heal. All thanks to our good friends at Penguin Random House Canada. We'll be right back. Cheers. You like it?